Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verdes City Manager R. Moranian with an update from the March 19th City Council meeting. The RPV City Council continues to address the ongoing state of emergency in the Portuguese Band Landslide Complex area. The Council authorized staff to proceed with installing two multi-million dollar emergency dewatering wells to respond to accelerated land movement that has been exasperated by historic rains. The Council also directed staff to continue to explore assisting the Abalone Cove Landslide Abatement District and the Klondike Canyon Landslide Abatement District with in-kind and financial support. The Council directed staff to come back to its April 2nd meeting with more information. The Council voted to extend the local emergency that began last October due to unprecedented land movement in the Portuguese Bend, Abalone Cove and Seaview neighborhoods. The record movement has damaged homes, roads, utilities, and has resulted in the temporary shutdown of city trails and the historic Wayfarers Chapel. Residents can receive landslide updates on the city's website and participate in weekly virtual meetings with staff and stakeholders working on solutions to address the landslide. Meanwhile, the miles of trail closures in the Palos Verdes Nature Preserve has reduced the number of visitors using the city's park mobile parking system in the Del Cerro neighborhood. The council received a park mobile update and approved more modifications to the fee-based parking system implemented back in 2021 to provide relief to residents impacted by the high volume of preserve users. Some of the modifications include returning eight park place parking spaces to general public parking and installing signs recognizing Del Cerro Park as a federally acquired land for public use. Meanwhile, the public will soon be able to check out the updated version of RPV's municipal code. The council adopted an ordinance recodifying the city's municipal code and once finalized, they will be posted on the city's website. The action comes following a two-year comprehensive legal review of city ordinances and state law to determine if there were any inconsistencies or conflicts. The municipal code had not been recodified since 1982 and was first implemented when the city incorporated in 1973. In an effort to maintain local control and monitor state legislation, the council approved additional funding and extended the contract with the city's lobbying firm. The council also directs its staff to look into obtaining services from federal lobbying firms. One issue being monitored is AT&T's request before the California Public Utilities Commission to remove its landline obligations. The council authorized the mayor to sign a letter joining the League of Women Voters and many cities opposing AT&T's application, which if approved, could impact residents who don't have reliable cell coverage and depend on traditional landline services. For more details on these issues before the City Council, watch the meeting on RPV TV or the city's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember, we are RPV together.